Okay, so inside the editor, um, I'm just going to show one or two things before we jump into Kismet and take a look at all the Kismet sequences. Um, okay, so first thing is the character. And <coughs> since I wanted to create everything uh, inside Kismet, uh, I ended up using the the mobile placeable pawn. And uh, it's pretty much the same as the jazz game uh, the same setup so we've got the skeletal mesh reference and the anim tree and all that stuff um, <coughs> I've got my uh, my skeletal mesh um, just open the anim tree uh, which is the character I have lying around uh, it's not one I'm ultimately going to end up using and it's not finished or anything like that uh, so it's just a grayscale uh, little model that I have uh, so um, and the animations as well it's just some simple animations that I, th that I put together just so I have something to play with uh, instead of having like, a character sitting in T-pose all the time which I hate um, so the runs in that are basically uh, cat sequences and uh, these other uh, are just poses pretty much um, some some simple animation and the attack animations um, I've got uh, for the kick there I've, I've added a trail uh, which uh, I was just pretty much with uh, this kind of projects when I do them I do them to learn things and uh, the more I can learn the better so uh, I kinda thought I'll t take a look at doing trails on characters so that was um, what that's all about it's not really needed I just wanted to take a look at how it works um, oh, so that's pretty much that uh, the running animation there has a bit of dust on the footsteps uh, which I add in through through notifies over there uh, the notify is a emitter notify and just assign the the actual particle system that you use and you tell the bone name that you use you can use a socket if you had a socket and I don't have any sockets so I just give a bone name um, that's pretty much it for that um, my anim tree again is very similar to uh, the jazz game the anim tree for the rabbit and I made some small I can't even remember exactly what was in there I I know it had the uh, I know it had a full body node I think and I think uh, the head node and uh or the upper body and the head node I think uh the jazz game has I added a full body cuz I want to play animations on the uh, the whole character through matinee and uh I kept the upper body and the head node just in case and then I added a falling physics uh section there so uh, when the character falls it goes into the the falling animations um, and of course the walking and uh, uh, so it'll blend by speed the the idle when you stand still obviously um, take a look at the properties quickly uh, the speeds there are, you know at idle zero uh, it'll play the you know it'll play the idle at uh, 50 at speed 50 it'll play the walk which is the the same walk sequence as as the normal walking sequence I just slowed it down quite a bit and then the normal walking sequence plays at uh, th 300 which is my walking speed and at 600 the running which uh, 600 is my running speed double the walking speed um, yeah falling is pretty much uh, just whatever the defaults are 
you know, when you when you throw this uh, blend by fall node in I just plugged in the nodes there and uh, it kind of works okay uh, it's it's not 100% perfect I uh, didn't care about that too much I just wanted something different when you fall other than a walking animation playing or idle animation playing or something like that um, yeah I've I've created a physics asset for it uh, originally uh, because I wanted to have the hair flow when you run uh, I haven't been able to make that work uh, it's it's easy to make it work on a scripted pawn or a, or a skeletal mesh or something like that that you you know a simple skeletal mesh I can't seem to get it working on the UDK on the mobile placeable pawn I'm not sure where it gets it must be getting disabled somewhere in the script I've I've looked for it but I haven't been able to find it um, it's uh, I know it's a special section to allow uh, to allow these bodies that you set to uh, uh, always full anim weight uh, um, when you set those is to allow those to actually always do physics uh, they just don't actually work on the mobile placeable pawn for whatever reason I have no idea I haven't been able to track that down okay so uh, so I've got the uh, uh, the pawn for the character. I've I've got this camera that I attach to zero uh, point on the character, and then I've got this camera which is the view the view camera, which I attach to that camera. Um, and uh, I've got this other extra camera that I use to attach the character, and then attach uh, where I spawn the the uh, attacks the projectiles and stuff from uh, also in the level I've got these guys which are my enemy spawn points and uh, the crowd they're basically crowd control points or crowd uh, destinations and uh, I've got a dynamic crowd destination on the uh, that I've got attached to my character so the enemies will follow me around <laughs> come towards me whatever um, okay so <coughs> that's pretty much it otherwise it's just a simple little uh, test level that I <laughs> that I built just to run around in and test things um, okay so uh, jumping to the to the kismet um, We'll start at the at the beginning, and uh, I'll throw that into a, into a new video.